How you doing guys, Zeta here. So with the release of Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer that just happened a few days ago or so, and with this trailer getting more than 100 million views, that's actually on the same day that 100 million views Grand Theft Auto 5 first trailer received as well. Very kind of, well, funny how that works, right? Just a little more than 24 hours since the release of this trailer, and it reached 100 million views, incredible. And yet it needed about 12 to 13 years for the Grand Theft Auto V first trailer to reach 100 million views. Incredible, incredible. But yeah, nevertheless, I wanted to raise the question regarding this video. What should we now expect from Grand Theft Auto 6? You know, with the introduction and also a little bit of a tease, a look towards Grand Theft Auto 6 that we've got an opportunity from this trailer, you know, I kind of want to raise a question. What can we expect now? Because this genuinely does give us a little bit more clarity of what to expect from the next installment of Grand Theft Auto coming from Rockstar Games. And of course, seeing the beautiful Miami, beautiful Florida, and how everything is going to be transpiring and also kind of like vegetations, the world, the living, the breathing, the soul environment within this game, the map. It's incredible. And of course, looking back at the trailer as well, how much it is actually going on there is genuinely is incredible in the best possible metric but yet again there's one little bit of a confusion that I'm actually noticing at least that I question myself is that okay well a lot of the circumstances and a lot of things that are happening here is specifically done for the trailer but that's just the thing it's a little bit unrealistic to the point and like seeing so many people that's fine on the beach you you would expect that but then you're seeing dolphins right next to each other and then there's a two sharks right there and there then uh, boats then cars then also run a distance it's just too much going on all at the same time but perhaps maybe that's actually a nice thing to do since rockstar is trying to prioritize on the density of the world instead of the large scale of the world i really like this Thank you. If they're actually going with this route, the density and how much of the volume actually is inside this world, I'm good with this far more than having like a ginormous scope and like large, large, like ridiculously large worlds instead, right? Like just have a lot more denser uh, feeling of the world and have more soul in it. And of course, with the NPCs, and this is the main uh, like part of this whole trailer the NPCs. They're crazy. And I mean, a lot of things have been done here and actually kind of a, well, mocking, perhaps being a parody and similarities that was actually uh, shown <laughs> in Florida of real life and Miami is included. And they're actually done in here as well. It's just kind of, well, of course, they have their own spin on it too. I like it. It's nice. It's very nice to see kind of parodies. It is very, very... Uh, Grand Theft Auto-esque so that's awesome to see now there's a lot more towards this trailer of course and you know like for example uh, how, what kind of vehicles we can expect from here some are returning some are completely brand new some of them we don't even know a lot of them names as well I, you know I was even contemplating and thinking about you know perhaps I should name every single vehicle that we see in the trailer but that will be a lot of work and also unfortunately a lot of people already done it now so I feel like it's not going to be much of a uh, much of a research for me to do any longer since there's been already confirmation of around 70 plus vehicle names that I can already found it's incredible because I'm actually contemplating and thinking about uh, you know if I should like do a mega breakdown of the trailer but then I noticed there's so many other people doing it already and perhaps maybe some are doing a better, better job than I ever could but it's not gonna say I'm not gonna say like oh I'm gonna give up because of it so I think I'm gonna take my time with it instead so, of course, looking at the trailer a little bit more and noticing what kind of direction that the Rockstar is deciding to go with. Is, of course, it's a typical trailer, the very first trailer, mind you. So you should not expect much out of, out of it. But what to expect afterwards, that's what makes it kind of interesting. And talk about a little bit afterwards, the future. Well, when can we expect a trailer 2 coming for Grand Theft Auto 6? Uh, well, there's unfortunately not much merit to go towards, you know, history, because that's when we can make kind of an assumption as such. I believe it was like 11 months or so since we've seen trailer 1, and then trailer 2 came out for Grand Theft Auto 5. 
Red Dead, was it 11 months ago? No, I think that's actually happened for Red Dead Redemption 2. In Grand Theft Auto 5, that was about even longer. I think it was like maybe 13 to 14 months after the first trailer released and then the second trailer came out for specifically for Grand Theft Auto 5. In this case, in Grand Theft Auto 6, I personally think that we should see a second trailer coming out, like calling Trailer 2. Perhaps maybe would be, I'm not sure, like November of 2024. Uh, but that's just my, you know, speculation. Of course, with a beautiful look towards how Grand Theft Auto is going to be scaling up and kind of differences that it will have, it's a lot more vibrant, a lot more colorful, a lot more, what's the word, maybe cheerful. And I, I want to say action-packed, but yet again... It's hard to judge that, right? Because it's too early. This is still more or less of a tease. It's kind of a sneak peek towards what we should expect from Grand Theft Auto 6 world and the density of the you know people and what they're doing, the crazy stuff and everything like that. It genuinely makes it an interesting world to be a part of. And I'm genuinely am curious to see uh, what Rockstar has got uh, more in store in terms of like, you know, uh, when we actually be able to play the game and what we should expect expect and see out of that game as well. Because a lot of cases in here that I'm noticing whenever there's like an alligator coming into the store or the convenience store, right? And it's like, what? wait, 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 is that actually going to be happening during the gameplay as well? Like one moment I'm going to rob the store, I come in and then uh, next moment a fucking alligator is coming into the store. Uh, it's just like random events that has happened that was actually main point as well. Uh, for Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 actually received that as well and they improved it But it seems like that kind of random events and random moments will be present in Grand Theft Auto 6 But it's gonna be far more uh, You know expanded on also another big thing the cops What kind of wanted level will there be here? Will it be similar like it was done for Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5? Which one? I personally think they need to revise it a little bit more. Keep the Grand Theft Auto 5 element, for example, cops trying to find you with the location beacon right on the mini-map that they can see. But also if you ch change your getaway car, the cops are not going to automatically know which car you're in. In Grand Theft Auto 5, they were relatively smart, but they weren't enough, well, they weren't exactly smart to the point it was realistic. And yet, also, I think here, if you change the vehicle as a getaway vehicle, cops, like, I'm talking about not during the mission, I'm talking about just an open world, you're, like, trying to get away from the cops in general. And if you change the vehicles and you and the cops do not see you, perhaps you're going in a parking lot, going up to the uh, third floor or something like that, changing vehicle there, and then you're coming back out, cops are going to be waiting for you, but they're not going to be aware exactly, uh, you know, where are you. But of course, you have to change your clothes, maybe you have a bandana, take out the bandana, stuff like that. Just go crazy with the amount of kind of a customer's ability. But again, maybe it's a little bit far-fetched as well, kind of a question, like, or perhaps my assumption I'm bringing it in here. But yet again, I don't think it's necessarily impossible a uh, task to achieve for Rockstar. We'll have to wait and see. Another thing, I actually hope that Rockstar level, well, want a level system will be similar to Grand Theft Auto 4, because I really, really bothered me, for example, you get a one star, want a level, and then cops pretty much just shoot at you on spot. And instead, I think that uh, they should go, go with the similar style as it was in Grand Theft Auto 4. If you have one star, one to level, they'll only run up to you, right? Like, and they'll try to arrest you. But in this case, I think they should do the same thing, right? Don't shoot at you on the first sight. Don't. If you have one star, one to level. Instead, they should actually arrest you and handcuff you. And actually, you get to see all this action uh, being done. Perhaps maybe bring you to the uh, prison and stuff like that, since there's a very big prison in, my, in the Miami area. So, of course, I think it actually would really work in here. But again, like I said, maybe a little bit too far-fetched. But, of course, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, I'm pretty much looking forward to this game. Uh, I like, definitely want to do more coverage uh, regarding of the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer and more, uh, you know, necessary and confirmed details. Perhaps some of the leaks and rumors if there's going on something like uh, substantial for Grand Theft Auto 6. But at the moment, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.